good afternoon everyone welcome back to another video another vlog um usually when i start filming a vlog i kind of have an idea of what is going to be in the vlog or you know if i'm traveling or if i have some specific events coming up or things to do that i can show you guys then i like to vlog but this week there's nothing like particularly interesting or specific happening but i still really want to vlog i think i want to start to do things a little bit differently because i want to film more but this is my dilemma okay so i love making videos for you guys that are informational useful i of course want to continue making those videos for you guys but i have this desire to really start making vlogging a more regular thing and it's kind of crazy because sometimes I think, you know, I could vlog this or I could, you know, take you guys with me when I go do something or even just around the apartment. But then I have this like fear that it's going to be not interesting or not have value. I need to find a more comfy spot to continue this video because my arm is hurting. So yeah, I sometimes have this fear that um, I'm going to make content that's actually not helpful or interesting, but it's silly at the end of the day because I love watching vlogs. I love watching normal stuff, someone's normal life, daily life, not just trips and stuff. I mean, I love watching the trips and vacations and that fun stuff too, but I do really like seeing like the day-to-day activities of people. I think there's something so human in it. I think with what we do as influencers online is quite curated and I'm, I don't think that's a bad thing because we want to provide good information, we want to provide inspiration for thousands of people, so we want to put our best foot forward but at the end of the day we're also just people and you know there are good things and bad things that happen in our lives and i think it's also important for me as a creator as a youtuber i love the sit down videos that i do where i really get like topic orientated on a specific uh subject and really share like lots of tips and helpful stuff but i also want to get more comfortable vlogging and showing you guys and show you guys some of the more like normal things that i do as well which i have definitely been doing in these vlogs but I want to try to do more. <laughs> I've been feeling so good lately. I've had a really great past few days. I've started to change a lot of things in my routines, especially my morning routine. I thought that it was pretty like solid before, but I've started doing new things now that have just really increased my focus, my positivity. And I think that that's what life is all about at the end of the day. You always want to keep improving on yourself and doing better so i've been feeling pretty good lately and i really just want to produce more content for you guys i want to be there more for you and something that i love and really just puts everything back into perspective is when i meet you guys and i see who you are i love reading your comments and your emails and just messages that i get every single day but when i meet you guys in person that is so so special for me because i can see who you are sometimes i get so nervous to film it's such a strange thing because I've been doing this for like what seven I've been doing this for almost six or seven years but sometimes I can get so nervous and I have these thoughts like these limiting thoughts about myself that I really have to just calm down I think it's the fear of judgment fear of negative comments so many unnecessary things really but when i actually meet you guys and i see who it is that's watching my videos gosh it just it just makes me so happy and really reminds me why i'm doing what i'm doing and i swear i'm usually just as happy and excited and nervous as you guys are if you did ever come up to say hi to me sometimes oh you guys are just the sweetest like you get so excited and i'm so excited i don't really know what the point of this story is but yeah i just want to do more even though even if it's not always perfect sometimes it might just be my life a few days in my life and i really want to show you guys more parts of me i've been pretty good with uploading on sundays and i'm really hoping to do two days per week now so trying to add in a wednesday upload and then hopefully always a sunday upload but before i was just doing sundays so now i'm gonna try to do wednesday 
and Sunday. It might be difficult though if we're traveling, but I'm hoping that that's going to be um, the schedule moving forward. I've just had lunch. I've filmed another video earlier today about uh, my skincare tips. It was sharing my five best tips for keeping your skin clear, acne free, glowing and healthy. I think it will already be up when you guys are watching this, so I will link it down below. I'm gonna start editing that since it has to be up tomorrow. And I also have like some stuff to do around the apartment. It's an absolutely beautiful day today. The sun is shining, it's around 24 degrees. I'm just loving life right now, you guys. The summer literally makes me so, so happy. So I'm gonna get cracking with my day, and then um, I really don't know what's gonna be in this vlog yet, but we're going with the flow, we're letting it happen. This is my living room, by the way. We have a little IKEA bag there because we went there yesterday. We had to get something new, which maybe I could also show you guys in this vlog. And we got some new posters to put above the fireplace and this little um, shelf thing that comes out. Maybe I'll just show you guys that real quick. So these are the posters that we got and I wanted to keep them all in like a muted kind of black and white theme and then we just have some candles on here and a little diffuser i've seen some of you guys asking for an apartment tour i think i might do one pretty soon i'm feeling pretty good with how we've decorated our place so far i might put that on my to-do list to do filming list <laughs> so i might be doing that soon and uh, maybe i can give you like little decorating tips now i'm really gonna get cracking with what i have to do and i'll catch up with you guys a little bit later editing the video that I filmed a little bit earlier today. I'm having some water with cucumber in it. I'm gonna get to editing and I also have some emails to get done and sip on my water. Morning, guys it is the next day I've had a very productive morning I'm feeling really good I managed to completely edit the video that I filmed yesterday and that's a pretty big accomplishment it usually takes me a lot longer to edit videos but I was really focused and I did it so I'm waiting for that to get uploaded and in the meantime I was thinking to start building this new um, IKEA drawer um cupboard situation there is the second part usually mo will be so sweet and do all like the ikea building and putting together of the furniture but he's at work and um i'm impatient so, so i'm gonna try to do this myself there are i think a few of the like interior drawers that might need the drill so i might wait for him for that but i'm gonna do as much as i can i also got a package from charlotte tilbury that i've been waiting to open but i thought i want to do it with you guys because it looks really cool there's like a little key okay so oh i'm looking extra glowy today it is hot 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 but i would rather it be like this than cold so i'm not going to complain so this is what they sent me how beautiful it has a little lock on it and there's an envelope i think with the key hopefully so let's open this envelope up oh charlotte tilbury loves annie that's so cute and this is the little key oh this is so cool okay so i'm going to open the box with my name on it first Look at that. We've got the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I love this. We've got an airbrush. <laughs> We've got an airbrush flawless finish powder. I actually already own this and I really like it. It's really nice to set your makeup, especially if you have a little bit more of a drier skin. I will put these in a giveaway for you guys. We've got the Film Star Bronze and Glow, the Wonder Glow Primer. Oh, I really wanted to try this. This is their Legendary Lashes Mascara. We've got the Feline Flick. Um, eyeliner pen, a lip cheat, and a lipstick, and also her dry sheet mask 
that I've actually been wanting to try. And now there's a whole other box of stuff. So let's see what's in this one. So it is a full box of exactly the same product. Thank you so, so much to Charlotte Tilbury. Seriously, one of my favorite makeup brands. Their products are insane. I'll actually do a giveaway on all of the products in this box. Because there's quite a lot, I might do two or three winners so that more people have a chance of winning. If you want a chance to win some of these items, just check the description box down below and I will leave information on how you can enter. So this is the unit, by the way, that I'm going to try to build right now. It's actually a TV bench. I wanted something to put in this corner right here. We have a table here that I like to work on. And I just want it to be a little bit more organized and nicer looking. So I think that table is going to fit really well. And we actually have the bigger version of that table on the other side of the room. So I think it's going to fit really nicely. And I like that it's just very clean. I just ordered myself this gorgeous Buddha bowl. It's a veggie Buddha bowl with quinoa, some mixed vegetables. There's some sweet potato, some edamame, walnuts, paprika. So I'm gonna eat this, refuel myself, and then get back to work. Alright guys, so this is the progress so far. I'm pretty happy with that. We still have to put the doors on and the drawers and there's a little shelf in there. Um, those are all in those boxes. So I think Mo's going to help me with that tonight. But I did pretty much everything. Got a little bruised along the way. Have a little bandage here, but all good. Building IKEA furniture is no joke. I'm sweating. But I do have to say it is rewarding when you see the final product. This is not the final product, <laughs> but soon to be there. But I have to do some work on my computer. I'm gonna publish my new video, which always makes me so happy. And later on, I have a body pump class at my gym. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I'm already wearing my workout pants because if you're dressed, you're halfway there. <laughs> How do you think I did, baby? You did a really good job. And I'm so sorry that you hurt yourself on your finger. If I would have known that, mm. I wouldn't let you do that. No. But I'm actually really proud. Thanks. You did a very good job. Good morning everyone. It is a new day. It is around 10 o'clock in the morning right now. The workout class last night was so good. I am so sore. <laughs> I think body pump is such a great way to really tone your muscles. So that was really good. And then I came home and Mo, bless him, was already building the rest of the TV bench and it's actually finished. It's right there. So I'm gonna show it to you guys in a little bit, but it looks so, so good. So it's a new day today, and today is gonna to be pretty chill. I have quite a lot of work to do on my computer, some emails, and some different projects that I'm working on, so I have to really dedicate myself 
to my computer today and get that done. And then later at around eight o'clock, Mo and I have a couples workout. He and one of his friends actually met with a trainer last week and he told me that it was amazing and they did like a shorter circuit but more intense. So I'm always up for trying new things. This morning I went for a super quick like little power walk in the park near our apartment and that's something else that I've been trying to incorporate into my routines. Getting in some movement first thing in the morning. So if I'm not going to be doing a full workout then I've been trying to do just a quick burst of like 30 minutes in the park at home or even just a super quick session at the gym before I have to get home to film even just a quick 30 minutes and it really does make such a difference in how your day goes you get that really nice burst of feel-good endorphins first thing in the morning and I love to listen to music or audiobooks especially audiobooks when I'm walking in the park just such a nice way to start your day you of course get the feel-good endorphins but even just walking in the park, you get such a good amount of fresh oxygen from all the trees around you and you just feel so good. And then I came home, I had breakfast, I had a really nice bowl of oatmeal with some almond butter, raspberries and chia seeds on top so so good but right now I have to go and wash my face I have to do my morning skincare routine because I still haven't done that I also got this new uh, skincare tool that I wanted to try out with you guys I think it's called um, Gua Sha I think it's called a Gua Sha if I'm not mistaken and it's an ancient beauty tool that I think originated in Asia and it's this little tool that's made out of jade which is a crystal I ordered this myself from Cold Beauty you're supposed to use this tool to kind of massage upwards on your face and it's supposed to be really good for the skin for detoxification for moving the lymph I want to give this a try after I'm done with my little routine and I will I will do it with you guys so this is the new cupboard in its place it looks so good so much cleaner and just more organized so this one is a traditional drawer that you just pull out I have to organize the inside of this we have some papers there that I have to go through and then in this door it actually pulls out like that and here there will be a shelf that we have to put in we just unfortunately bought the wrong size so um, so I have to take that one back and get another one how beautiful is this little rose plant here by the window it's quite small but I thought it was so cute and I love the fact that the roses are still alive since it's a proper plant I might have to get a different vase because it looks a little bit small I thought I would show this to you guys as well I'm in love with her So I've just washed my skin and applied a little bit of toner and now I'm going to take a few drops of this uh, facial oil. This is from Disciple. I don't want to do the serums or anything because I think the tool is just going to move it around too much. So I'm going to do the massage and then apply the serums after. But I just want something um, that the tool can kind of glide over so it's not too dry. This stuff smells so incredible. It's like aromatherapy. So I've washed this tool so that it's completely clean. I just watched a few videos on YouTube on how to do this and they all suggest going up from the forehead first and then just taking some strokes and it doesn't hurt at all by the way. My skin is just getting a little bit red but it's not painful. The surface of this tool is very smooth and then they suggest going outwards like that and on the other side feels really good, very relaxing. And then you're supposed to go around your eye. Feels really nice. You're supposed to go down the nose. Now this is the part that I think will be really interesting. You're supposed to, ooh, that's good. That felt so good. I especially like this one for the cheeks. I think it really helps to like sculpt the face. I could literally just stand here and do this all day. So this tool is really good for helping to increase blood flow and nutrients and oxygen to all the cells, which I like to do with little daily uh, facial massages, just using my hands. But this is another really nice way to do it and it's so relaxing. I also saw another woman suggesting to kind of empty 
the lymph by at the end kind of pressing down so really to bring all the fluids like back down into your body so that they can be eliminated so I'm just gonna do a little bit of that on the actual face you want to make sure that you're always going upwards and outwards just like with a regular facial massage with your hands but yeah that was really successful i feel really good i'm going to keep using this and let you guys know what i think kind of long term but right now i think my skin looks amazing so i'm going to continue the rest of my skincare routine i'm going to put some moisturizer and spf on top and then I will catch up with you guys a little bit later. It is around 8 o'clock in the evening. We're on our way to our couple's workout. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> back from the gym that was crazy good i definitely want to go back and do more sessions with him it was super short like a 30 minute uh, session so it wasn't that long but it was really intense we worked up a really good sweat and we did like all different parts of the body so arms chest legs bum abs everything but now we're back home we've showered and i'm about to get into bed i am exhausted from the day tomorrow is a new day a new day of filming i think i'm gonna already start another vlog tomorrow because i really want to keep this going and just make it more of a normal and routine thing to just take you guys along with me on day-to-day -day activities let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and if you would like to see more like this i hope you guys are all having a really nice day and i will see you in my next one Bye.